In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to make this amazing moisturizing clove leave-in conditioner you can use for hair growth and to also stop hair breakage. Guys, this clove leave-in conditioner also helps to grow your edges, helps with baldness, helps with thickening, and I'm also going to do a giveaway. If you find this video helpful, please keep on watching because it's going to be very, very interesting. This leave-in conditioner is something that you can also sell. I have other products to formulate with you guys, such as Herbal Infused Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. I would also love to share that as well. But first of all, I want to find out from you guys if you want to see the video. So if you want to see it, just comment Herbal Infused Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner in the comment section below so let's get to the point of this video the first and most important ingredient we are going to be needing is clove we are going to be using much of it then this is fenugreek a little bit of fenugreek a little bit of black seed powder a little bit of chebe powder and a little bit of moringa powder you can go ahead and use only clove i just want to be a little bit extra by adding those other powders because they have their own benefit this is fresh aloe vera if you don't have fresh aloe vera make use of the store box aloe vera then you'll be needing uh, chebe, you'll be needing uh, shea butter. Sorry, this is shea butter. You'll be needing this as well to help with the moisturizing and the creamy effect. The use of using aloe vera is to draw in moisture. This is rosemary essential oil, vitamin E essential oil, uh, sweet almond essential oil, and lavender essential oil, and other essential oils such as avocado essential oil. I'll remove all these uh, other ones from the pack. I just got them newly because I was out of them. This is the avocado essential oil. Next up is argon essential oil followed by clove essential oil. Then we have the fenugreek essential oil uh, followed by the black seed oil this black seed oil comes in small and in big sizes i think this is the small size you can get hold of it in the bigger size that one is much better and it will last for you it's just the quantity that is the difference it's not like it's uh there's any special effect next up is moringa oil if you want to learn how to make this the link will be in the description box below it's a recent video i uploaded i made this by myself and i'm going to use it to make this or uh, clove leave-in conditioner then we have the coconut oil uh, we have the castor oil we also have the extra virgin olive oil if you have the one that comes in that goya container make use of it please um it's just uh, that this one has more effect then this is acetyl alcohol this is acetyl alcohol this is acetyl alcohol that will help us to come that helps to bind the water and the oil together and also serves as a thickener this one right here is emulsifying wax this emulsifying wax helps to condition the hair soften the hair you have to be careful when purchasing this because the difference between uh, emulsifying wax and the cetyl alcohol is the size they are not the same thing this is the thickener um th uh, then i have the scents that i'm going to be using these are two different scents i want to combine then i also have the preservative preservative is very important since we are going to be using water and aloe vera then i have my measuring cups if you have a beaker and a measuring scale please make use of it i don't have any of those ones so i'm going to purchase it in the future then these are the bowls i'm going to be using i ended up using a lot of bowls it's not just this bowl that i used then i have the uh the hand whisker that i'm also going to use to blend all this mixture together into a creamy form all right so i'll go ahead to grind this clove into powder form please make use of your blender if you have it i had to use mortar and pistol to grind my if i'm to make it to very smooth it will take whole day so i just crushed it as little as i could next up is to measure one third cup of the clove powder and pour it into that green bowl 
that is a bowl we are going to be mixing all our powders and all the oil based products guys i'm deeply sorry i lost the footage of me measuring the remaining powders but the measurement i use is one tablespoon of fenugreek powder black seed powder moringa powder and chebe powder so after mixing all the powders together making sure you have mixed them together in this bowl the next thing to do is to add in your oils and butter so we're going to measure one third cup of the olive oil the coconut oil and the castor oil Next up is to measure 1 tablespoon of the black seed oil. After that, I'm going to measure 1 third cup of the moringa oil. So after adding in the powders and the oils, I'll go ahead to turn the mixture properly before adding in any other ingredient. I will go ahead to pour my shea butter inside the oil. You can measure this. I forgot to measure it totally. I just used my head and uh, I boiled it. So you can measure two cups of shea butter. Just um, after breaking in your shea butter, use your measuring cup to measure two cups of shea butter and put it in there. Or you can even melt the shea butter first of all, then measure two cups and pour it inside this mixture. The next thing to measure is the emoxifying wax. You will go ahead and measure one fourth cup of the emoxifying wax, that is 60 ml, and pour inside the mixture. This emoxifying wax helps to condition your hair and soften your hair. It also helps to manage the room temperature of your product. After that, we'll go ahead to measure the cetyl alcohol. This cetyl alcohol helps to thicken the hair, also helps to combine the water and the oil together. As we all know, water and oil can stay in, uh, together, so it helps with the combination and we may need a, a, a lot of this one. So we are going to measure one third cup of it, that is 85 ml, and pour into this mixture. And it also serves as a thickener. Please, if you have glycerin, add it into this mixture. It draws moisture into the product and into your hair. So it's very, very important. I'm, I was completely out of glycerin and the person that usually sells it to me was not available. So after uh, mixing everything thoroughly, I'm going to set my water to boil because we'll be using the double boiler method to uh, melt this mixture the emoxifying wax and the cetyl alcohol takes time to melt so please don't um put a lot of pressure on yourself thinking that it will melt easily like the shea butter and uh, making sure that the uh the powders and the other oils combine properly just be stirring it gradually it will definitely melt but just don't um rush it because the emoxifying wax and the cetyl alcohol takes time to melt with the other ingredients while the oil based products and the powders are melting we are going to go ahead to strain out the aloe vera juice from this fresh aloe vera like i mentioned before you can use the store box aloe vera juice if you can't get hold of the fresh aloe vera it's just that this fresh aloe vera is 100 percent natural the store box aloe vera is not 100 percent natural you see so i prefer to use this one to do all of my mixtures so right here I'm, I'm whisking it because i want it to be in a liquid like in a more um liquidy form because i will have to strain it out and pour it into the mixture into the leave-in conditioner so if you have a blender please make use of the blender then you strain out the juice properly when i'm done straining out the aloe vera juice i'll go ahead and measure one cup of it and pour it into a separate bowl and keep it aside one cup that is 250 ml so i came back to check the butter and the oils if they have melted properly like i told you guys in the beginning the emoxifying wax and the cetyl alcohol takes time to melt so please don't uh, rush the whole process it takes time to melt and don't 
use direct heat to melt this the emulsifying wax doesn't melt on its own you have to combine it with other oils or butter to melt it so as you can see we still have to put it back to the pot so that it will keep on melting what i'm looking for is uh, a smooth consistency so that the only thing i'll be straining out will be the powders alone so i will now go ahead to measure one cup of water i want to boil one cup of water uh, that i'll keep aside because we also need water for this um, formulation so as you can see i'm checking it out again to see if it has fully melted and the emulsifying wax and the cetyl alcohol has also melted properly then i'll bring it out and strain out the mixture using this strainer but this strainer didn't catch all the powder so i'm going to use uh, a cloth that has more tiny holes so that i can catch all the powders we don't need the powders we will keep the powder aside for a hair mask i'm going to use it for my ayurvedic hair mask that i'll apply on my hair when i'm ready to wash my hair so here is it i'm squeezing it making sure that everything is well squeezed then I will just use only the mixture of the oils and uh, the butter and the emulsifying wax and uh, that is it mind you this mixture was still kind of hot but not so hot that I couldn't handle remember that we are mixing oil and um, water together so we have to mix it at the same room temperature we can't mix oil when it's hot and water when it's cold or oil when it's cold and water when it's hot so you can allow this mixture to cool down before you will strain it out the way I'm doing it but after uh, straining it out you have to put it back into the pot and reboil it again using the double boiler method it all depends on what you want when i was done straining out the oil i kept it aside and quickly measured one cup of water and poured it into that small bowl you are seeing right there i don't want the oil and the water i boiled before remember there's a cup of water i boiled before i didn't want it to get cold so now i'm mixing one tablespoon of thickener inside this little bowl because we're going to use it to make our product so immediately i'm whisking this uh, oil as you can see as i'm whisking it i'm going to pour in the hot water at the same time it has to be done at the same time as i'm whisking the oil i'm pouring in the hot water remember the hot water and the oil has to be the same room temperature it one cannot be cold and the other one will be hot no it doesn't work that way then i will not keep on whisking 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 for about 10 minutes so that to make sure it has properly the oil and the water has properly mixed thoroughly while whisking the conditioner is also cooling down so i'm now going to uh, check the thickener to make sure it's thickened enough the quantity of thickener depends on the quantity of product you are making so i'm uh, adding in the aloe vera juice that i strained out before that aloe vera that i strained out and kept aside yes that is what i'm adding in into this conditioner right now as you can see it's even still running but it's getting cool it's no longer hot then i'll go ahead and add in the thickener into the conditioner uh the quantity of aloe vera and, and thickener like i mentioned before depends on the quantity of living conditioner you are making aloe vera helps to draw in moisture and to uh, soften the hair and also uh, condition your hair so as you can see the bowl i was using before was small so i had to transfer it into this bigger bowl and you can see that the conditioner has started getting thick so i'm now going to add in the essential oils into the conditioner the reason why i don't i didn't add it the first time in uh while i was mixing the oils is because they are essential oils the, you don't have to add them at the beginning of the of the process is something you're supposed to add at the ending towards the ending so that they'll still remain very fresh uh, and the, they also have their own scents too then i'm now going to mix it very well again after mixing it i'll add in the scents that i have the scent i have here is banana and lavender sometimes i also mix in strawberry 
everything you are mixing the, the scent you are mixing all depends on how you want your product to smell so after adding in the scents i'm going to add in my preservative the essence of using preservative is because we use water water and aloe vera to make this product in fact even though you don't put water water um aloe vera alone is a form of water do you understand so you must use a form of preservative to preserve your product if not it will get spot so you can see that uh, our conditioner is ready so i'm now going to uh, transfer it into my containers i already washed my containers i'll transfer it to these containers guys please keep on watching because i'll tell you people the point where i will announce the giveaway process i'm going to be giving away this product uh, three of this product to three different people all you just have to do is to comment the reason why i should give you this product and if your reason is genuine enough if i find it genuine enough that is it after com after commenting why i should give you this product then you go ahead and share this video to people that you feel like that may need it follow me on instagram and that is it just three things if you have not subscribed to my channel and you want to win this giveaway then fa -fa -fa -fa, you will not win it so you subscribe you leave your genuine comment there then you share the video to friends and follow me on instagram that is it i'll leave the rules in the comment section below if you still don't understand so you can see i took down uh this some portion of my hair and i'm also trying to show you guys that this conditioner is really really conditioning do you understand is really conditioning i just applied it on my hair like it to soften your hair instantly this is not just shea. Some people will be like, it's shea butter. No, this you we just made a product. And you are going to see that my hair did not break at all after combing this hair. It didn't break. I'm going to show you guys through the comb. You can see it, right? It didn't break. So after applying this conditioner on your hair, you start from the tip of your hair and start combing, making sure you are using a white tooth comb comb your hair very well then i'll show you guys another way you can use it by sprinkling warm water warm if you have enough time sprinkle warm water on your hair then you now apply the product on it and you comb it the same method of combing but if you don't have enough time you can just go ahead and use the product and it will yield the same result because the product contains water and aloe vera then this product you can also use it to grow your edges so guys this giveaway is my first giveaway please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you guys in my next post